Before we get into deriving the vector equations of a plane, let's look at the condition of coplanarity of three vectors. This can come handy in solving so many questions and will also help in deriving the vector equation of a plane. This can be done in two ways. The first method by using the idea of box product and the second method by using linear dependency of vectors. Let's see both these methods one after another. So method number one, that's using the box product. We learned in the properties of box product that a box product represents the volume of a parallel pipette formed by three vectors. What would be the shape of the parallel pipette if all the three vectors were on the same plane? Will it form a parallel pipette anymore? No, they will just lie flat on the plane, don't they? So what happens to the box product which gave us the volume? As you can guess, the volume also collapses to zero. This in a way gives the condition of coplanarity. That is, three vectors are coplanar if the volume of the parallel pipette formed by them is zero or if their box product is zero. Therefore, box product of ABC is equal to zero when vectors A, B and C are coplanar. Suppose the position vectors of four points A, B, C and D are given and we need to know if these four points are coplanar. First thing is to form the vectors A, B, A, C and A, D and then apply the condition of box product. That is, the box product of three vectors would be equal to zero. So let's look at the method number two, that is by using the linear dependency of vectors. The theorem states that four points will be coplanar if and only if there exist scalars P, Q, R and S, not all simultaneously zero, such that P into vector A plus Q into vector B plus R into vector C plus S into vector D is equal to zero and P plus Q plus R plus S is equal to zero. To keep learning with such engaging videos, download Byju's, the learning app today.